in an earlier section, I talked about how important it is that we shepherd our hearts through life. And particularly when we're in those hard times, whether it's something we don't understand or pain that we're going through or a loss like Scout, it's so important that we sort of guard our hearts and that we're aware and attuned to what we're feeling and what we're thinking as we walk through those things. Because God is giving us grace all of the time, grace for the life that we need. And I think many of us actually end up carrying crosses, carrying burdens, accepting sort of a heavy load or even a heavy heart when we don't need to. We're carrying crosses that God is not asking us to carry because we didn't stop to ask him. It's so important as we're learning to walk with God that in hard things or in misunderstanding or or just on sort of a bad day, we're asking God, Lord, what are you saying in this? What do you want my posture to be? You know, what, what are you giving me today? Because what happened as we journeyed through the loss of Scout was that God gave an immense grace there in the midst of sorrow. And I described how I was feeling better a couple days later, and I was feeling guilty about feeling better. And and that idea of, gosh, I ought to feel bad, soon becomes an agreement with, I feel bad. And guess what? You go from, I ought to feel bad, to agreeing with, I feel bad, and pretty soon, you start feeling bad. Or that could be guilt, or that could be shame, or that could be excessive worry about someone else's life, carrying a heavy load for them. When God says to you, I've got them. No worries. You don't need to carry this one. And so what I'm suggesting is that we can accept the grace God is giving. If you look at the life of Jesus you can see that although he navigated a very difficult life, I mean there was all kinds of opposition, lots of misunderstanding. Even his own family at points didn't get him, didn't understand who he was. His brothers didn't believe in him initially. Certainly, he had to deal with a great deal of sorrow, his compassion for others, and the sorrow of his own life. But Jesus is essentially a very happy person. Right? He is essentially a joyful person. He's just free to only carry those things that he knows his father wants him to carry. And he is just free to accept the grace that his father is giving to him, whatever the situation. And there we find that, in fact, the joy of the Lord really is our strength. 